morning everyone once again i will start from this slide and before i start let me ask some question uh, from the previous lecture so how many of you remember the classification of tarpin so when i say monotarpin monotarpin means how many isoprene unit and how many carbon two isoprenes ten carbon and, and ten carbon. carbon so the example ten. given here Example given here is linalool. It is an example of which class of terpene? Can you see the structure here? This this structure of linalool. It is an example of which class of terpene? Monoterpene. Has ten carbons. Is it monoterpene or something you are missing? This is monoterpenoid. Yeah, there's oxygen. So it's a yeah. terpenoid. So it is a monoterpenoid. Okay, because it contains oxygen. So what is the difference between uh, okay, what do you call when if it has three isoprene unit and uh, five isoprene unit? What is the name of the class of terpene? For three isoprene units, it's cisquiterpene. Very and good. for 25, it's, it's terpene. Okay, how do you remember them? What is the clue to remember? Because Q is before T in the alphabet uh, letters okay. and also 15 is be be before 25. Okay, so you remember the clue. Yes. Good. So we will start from here. Linalol, as you can see, it is an example of acyclic monoterpene. It is found in aromatic plant like uh, Rosmarinus officinalis. Officially, it is the botanical name of the plant. The picture I will show in the next slide. Uh, this is the picture of the plant, right? So it is used mainly in perfume industry, cosmetic, and also as preservative. Regarding the medicinal uses, it is found to be a potent antimicrobial against gram-negative, both gram-negative and gram-positive bacteria, and also against yeast. Okay, and it also shows antispasmodic uh, spasmodic effect. It also has sedative activity to counter the con uh, convulsant activity. And this sedative activity was found in rat experiment. Okay, so it has not been so far used in a uh, human experiment to prove this sedative activity. It also shows local anesthetic effect. So remember this uses. Now coming to the next example, here onward, uh, I will not be discussing the mechanism. We only know the uses. So you need to remember uh, the name of the constituent, plant, botanical name, family name, wherever I give, and particularly the use of them. And looking at the structure, you should be able to identify the class of terpene. Now here, again, it is an example of uh, the monoterpenoids pyrethric acid and chrysanthemic acid, they are generally transformed into uh, pyrethrin, which is a compound used as insecticide. So remember the use, what is the use of pyrethric acid? It's insecticide, used as insecticide for certain types of insects like spider, mice, as well as uh, potentially disease-carrying mosquitoes. It is mainly found in the flowers of chrysanthemum cinerarifolium flowers. So let us have a look at the structure of flower. This is the flower. So can I ask you a question? Is this flower available in Jordan? Have you seen? How many of you have seen? Yes, it's available. It is available, right? Okay. So you can have this flower plant uh, near your windows or bedroom if you are, uh, you know, like fond of gardening. So this will have an effect of insecticidal effect. So insects will not come nearby. Next one is uh, methane monoterpene. Is a monoterpene or monoterpenoid? Monoterpenoid. Oid. Yeah, Oid, since there is oxygen. There is oxygen. It's known as methaglycol. It's also known as paramethane 38 diol or PMD. Okay, uh, but uh, I, in IOPSC you can name it in a different way. Okay, so it is an active ingredient used mainly in the preparation of insect repellent. So remember the use main use is insect repellent. It smells, it has a smell similar to menthol and it also has the cooling effect. 
Now, what is important to remember here? There are eight possible isomers of PMD. But it is not known which exact isomer is actually responsible for insect repellent activity. OK, or insecticidal activity. So commonly it is the mixture of isomer that is used OK, as in, in the preparation of insect repellent. All right. So just need to remember the mentaglycol and the use is insect repellent. Next one is menthol. It is found in mentha preparator leaves. You all of you know what is mentha, uh, mentha leaves. It is available in every market which contain a volatile oil as chief constituent. And the oil is distilled from young plant. The oil that is distilled from young plant containing high quantities of menthofuran, okay, with a low grade than as compared to that are obtained from the old plant. Do you understand the meaning of this sentence? Who can explain the meaning of this sentence in Arabic? Do you understand first of all? Uh, doctor, if it's fresh or not, if we just plugged it. If you what take it. By young plant. Uh, yeah, yeah. Fresh you see, the plant means uh, young and it based on the age of the plant. OK, so if the you. Extract, yeah, yeah. So if you extract it from the young plant, you will get the larger quantity of but with a lower grade as compared uh -huh. to if you take it from the old plant. So if we wait longer, we yeah. will have better effect if uh, yeah, using yeah, this plant. Quality. Exactly. Okay. So the uses, it has antibacterial effect, antipruritic. What is antipruritic effect you say in Arabic? Uh, uh, scratching? Uh, yes, prevent, yes. Uh, hake. In Arabic? Hake. <laughs> hake, okay. Ah, hake. <laughs> so because it provides chilling sensation when applied to skin, or, thus it can be used as a remedy for itching. OK, so that is actually what is antipruritic effect. And the volatile oil is uh, oil is largely consumed for making toothpaste, chocolate and sweets. So you will find a lot of uh, mentha containing uh, the menthol containing toothpaste. Sweets, I don't know. OK, yes, uh, it's with chocolate. I've seen yeah, it. It's chocolate. It's I know. Yeah, yeah, with chocolate, Choc mint yeah. chocolate, mint chocolate, but sweets. Yeah. I'm not sure <laughs> how it will taste. All right, next one is thyme species. All of you are aware of it. Almost all of you eat thyme along with the bread, right? So let us see the effects of thyme. So the botanical name is Thymus bulgaris. It has the bactericidal effect activity. The bactericidal activity is strong for thymol and carbacol. These are the two constituents that are present in the thyme species, the leaves of thyme. You can see the structure. I need not to explain much. You know what is thyme. Every day you are consuming almost. Especially in the winter season, consuming thyme is very, very good for your throat. Why? Because tradition, traditionally, thyme is, uh, thyme is used as antispasmodic and also for cough. So, you know, winter season, you will have a lot of spasm in your throat. So, consuming thyme, it will help your throat actually, okay, to get rid of the uh, spasmodic effect. And it is also used to treat minor wound analgesic as analgesic for oral activity and used for common cold. So that means if you consume thyme regularly, it is good for your throat and oral cavity. You will be away from, it will be protected from minor wounds, okay? And it will provide antispasmodic effect to your throats. And especially in current situation, you can understand where you need to protect your respiratory tract. So it's good to consume thyme a lot. So every day try to consume a lot of thyme along with your bread. Zatar. Okay. It's called that. That uh, I, I see. So next one is to zone monoterpene. Is it a cyclic or a cyclic monoterpene? Cyclic. Cyclic. Monoterpene or monoterpenoid? Monoterpenoid. There's oxygen, but. Um... Monoterpenoid. Yeah, monoterpenoid. Okay. Monoterpenoid. Yes, monoterpenoid, cyclic monoterpenoid. Oh. Cyclic because there is a cycle. The moment you see oxygen, always use the word terpenoid. So it is found in Artemisia absinthium. It is a botanical name. 
is alpha ketone and beta ketone it is poisonous monoterpen ketone and they include it is poisonous because it can show genotoxicity neurotoxicity reproductive toxicity and carcinogenicity okay so uh, genotoxicity anything that is genotoxicity generally they are found to be carcinogenic because genotoxicity means it can cause the toxicity of the genetic material that means it can lead to mutation and cancer and they are convulsant they show convulsant activity because they are able to block the gaba receptor so how many examples so far you have studied can you tell me two name which can show convulsant effect by blocking the gaba receptor or indirectly the gaba receptor chloride channel is it picrotoxin you remember the yes picrotoxin you studied in the previous chapter yes so like this gaba is an important receptor so like this uh, remember if i ask you a question which of the following two are gaba receptor uh, uh, antagonist or you can say uh, or which of the following two can show a convulsant effect by blocking the gaba receptor so two example i think in the whole syllabus you will be studying only two this is one tujon and another one is picrotoxin so any specific example you need to remember so next one is sesquiterpene sesquiterpene means how many carbon and how many isoprene 15 isoprene 15 isoprene 15 no 15 isoprene and 15 carbon 15 15 carbon sorry Yes, 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 yes. 15 carbon, that means three isoprene unit. So here the botanical name is Marticaria ricutita, which is nothing but the botanical name of German chamomile. I think this plant is also available in Jordan. Yes or not? Yeah, yes. soon. Yeah, which, uh, which consists of flower heads. So it is mainly present in the flower head. the main constituents that is the volatile oil which contain bisabolol so you need to remember <coughs> this name bisabolol up to 50% and bisabolol has anti ulcer activity it also contain chimajuline which has a blue order the use of chimajuline you will see in the next chapter anti anxiety chapter we'll discuss in detail but here you just remember the bisabolol which is an example of monoterpenoid uh, sesquiterpenoid and it has anti ulcer activity three keywords bisabolol anti ulcer activity and the botanical name of course marticaria decotita then sesquiterpene babu so this i'm soon i tell you one thing yeah this chapter how to study this chapter you can see in this chapter mainly you need to remember uh, the botanical name chemical constituent and the uses so if you make a chart the chart will be very useful for this chapter okay and the class of terpene or terpenoid it belongs i will conduct a quiz completely on this chapter next one is fever view fever view the botanical name i am not sure if this flower is available in jordan can you recognize this it looks similar to chamomile but not the same the botanical name is tinacetum parthenium the plant has long as uh, i mean sorry strong aromatic odor and it contains the parthenolide which is uh, which is used prophylactic uh, for uh, prophylactically for the remedy of migraine so again if you have the habit of gardening or um, habit of keeping the flower pots in your bedrooms or room try to keep this flower pot as well because the smell of this will help you to you know to stay away from the migraine headache if you have a headache problem or migraine headache this is good okay so remember the name parthenolide and treatment prophylactic remedy for migraine next one is this one even if you forget the whole chapter you should not forget this artemisia annua the botanical name it is cultivated in mainly in china and other east asian countries the main constituent that is available from this plant is the artemisinin which is found in leaves and flower tops of the plant what's why it is very highly important because it is toxic to malarial parasite malaria parasite 
at nanomolar concentration. So it is highly potent as antimalarial uh, agent. So there are many antimalarial drugs that are available in the market, which are developed okay, from the artemisinin. Remember, currently there are many antimalarial drugs available in the market, which are the derivatives of artemisinin. Okay. I'm not sure if this plant is available in Jordan. Are you able to recognize this? I don't know. Let me enlarge the picture and see. Do you recognize? We wouldn't this? know. Probably we wouldn't know, even if it's available. Look at the structure. Somewhere you might have come across. I'm not know. I don't know. Yeah, it looks unique. I before. Hmm? Have you seen this? Look at I, the leaves. Uh, I guess it is available. I have seen this in our botanical garden of university. Maybe this, yes. yes. Look at the leaves. This is very uh, people, you know. I have seen this. I guess it is available. Anyway, look for it. This is an important plant. And it is written in Arabic means. What is written in Arabic? Sheikh. Definitely. Sheikh. 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 It's an odd name. It's an odd name. Okay, so it is written in Arabic means definitely it is available here. Okay. We can't even understand the wording in Arabic. Okay. It's a weird name. Okay, so better you remember the English name. It's very important. Yeah. Art from the word art. Okay, so the last example is example of diterpene. So look at the structure. It's an example of diterpene or what? Is it a dry terpene or terpenoid? Uh, there's terpenoid. oxygen. Yes, say an example of dry terpenoid, and it is very important. Why the name of the compound here is given here is stibioside. Okay, it's mainly native to Brazil, but it is also cultivated in many parts of the world because the leaves contain a, a glycoside such as stibioside which is a natural sweetener and it is 200 times more potent than sucrose and it is devoid of most importantly it is devoid of toxicity it's a natural sweetener 200 m 200 times more potent than sucrose and devoid of toxicity so these are some of the examples of terpenes and terpenoids and these are the references from where i have taken i would uh, the information i would like to tell you then this chapter, I have collected a lot of information from uh, internet itself by considering many other literature other than the book. So I have given only the uses and the chemical constituents mainly and botanical name. So I didn't discuss much about the mechanism in this chapter. So try to prepare a chart and remember this. So do you want me to ask some questions? About this chapter? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Even though we might not know the answer. Okay, try it. You have Stevia is a sugar replacement. We can find it at the mall. I've used it. Okay, very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For it diabetes, is. I think they use it. It is, it is. Available. Diabetic patients. Yes, yes. For the diabetic patient, they use it as an artificial sweetener. Mm. And most importantly, it doesn't have toxicity so they can consume it so how to ask question oh maybe we have time for kahoot right we go for the kahoot in this chapter we have enough time 20 minutes so hang on people i will give you a kahoot now on this chapter now can i ask you Meanwhile, keep answering me until I open the kahoot. Tell me the name of a terpene, name and class of a terpene, example, which is uh, which has antioxidant property. Lycopene. Which class of terpene it belongs and how many isoprene and carbon atom it has? 
this uh, I tell you, this is one of my favorite question in exam. I ask like this. It belongs to tetra therapy, which has eight isoprene units and 40 carbon. Okay. It is available in which kind of fruits or vegetable? In tomato. Only tomato? I think only tomato. Yes, tomato and? Watermelon. Yeah, tomato and watermelon. Watermelon. What is the, uh, is it a terpene or terpenoid? Lycopene? Terpene. terpene. Okay. What is the name of the terpene and that that is present in carrot and responsible for the orange color of the carrot? Beta carotene. Beta carotene. Beta carotene. Okay. How many carbon and isoprene unit it has? It's also a tetra terpene. Tetra terpene? Yes. The same as eight isoprene units with 40 carbons. Okay. Let me see. Lycopene, yep. Now, can you tell me the name of an important triterpene? And it is source and uses. Squalene, and it's found in shark liver oil. Okay, and it is the precursor for what is the use of squalene? In the synthesis of uh, cholesterol and steroid hormones and vitamins like vitamin D. D. Very good. So I have opened the Kahoot, I will share with you now. Ah, where is the chapter? Turpin chapter, Turpin, Turpin, where is it? Wow, it's very strange. Seems like I don't have Turpin chapter at all. Oh, yes. Got it. Okay, this chapter, unfortunately, it is Mars do it. Uh, the chapter of phenolic aldehyde glycoside and coumarin. So do you want to play the whole chapter? Do you have sufficient time? We have 20 minutes time, right? You can recall. Yes, we can do. Okay, anyway, this chapter is also present for your uh, quiz, coming quiz. So it's better to play. It, it will be a double repetition for you. So I'm sharing with you the game pin. Yes. Uh, can you see the covered game pin, all of you? No. Yes, doctor. Okay. So those who can see, can you type it on the chat box so that other can join? Refresh. Okay. Two four zero one five seven. The game pin is two four zero one five seven. Fira says join already. I can see. Ibrahim. Yeah, join. Take. Don't waste time. Uh, join quickly. <clears throat> so this cohort is again. It contains question from phenolic and uh, aldehyde glycoside, coumarin, and terpene terpenoids. So it's it will be a good recall for all of you. And moreover, your next quiz will be on uh, phenolic aldehyde glycoside, coumarin. You already played this cohort but see if you can recall and remember the information. Let me know when to start and join quickly without, uh, without wasting time. We have 21 students.
All of you join fast. Don't waste time. Only 10 people have joined out of 21 student. What happened to the others? <laughs> They're sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is how I can catch people who are active ingredients and who are <laughs> in the sleeping formulation. <laughs> Out of 21, how many active ingredients and how many are excipients actually? Not joining to Kahoot means they are absent. So I can see the attendance from here itself. Sitting, <laughs> cooking, in the bathroom. Who knows? Okay. How many I can see? I can read. D, D4, is it Diana? Jafar, Rami, Samir. Yes, doctor. D is for Diana. Okay, very good. Noor, Firas, Ibrahim. There are two Noor, I know, in my class. This one is which Noor? Maybe uh, class 20, uh, 51, roll number, right? Noor, Saeed. Jafar. Yeah, Barra uh, is absent. Is Barra is present? Yusuf is sleeping 100%. He is appearing <laughs> he is appearing only in the picture. <laughs> this guy Yeah, Jamaa wala mawrood bas ab adawr ala ala ab adawr ala kahoot ma ab yatawlu ba kul shoy. He says he's present. Yusuf is absent, you know. He will post a picture assuming that he is present, but he is sleeping 100% sure. Ghasb Allah yastar mish ab Please don't waste time. Join quickly. Shall I start now? Otherwise, I'll not be able to finish it. Yes, okay, I'm yes, starting sir. now. Other people can still join during the session. First question, which of the following sesquiterpene is toxic to Ah, <laughs> Malaria, malaria. Give me one example here. Artemisin, artemisinin. Okay, next. Rami, very good. Which of the following represent an LDH glycoside? Glucovanilin. Quick question. Glucovanilin has sweet test or bitter test? Bitter test. Bitter test. Sure. No, again. Very good. Which of the following phytoalexin is found in quassia wood? Scopolatine, right. Next, Jaffer doing well, very good. Which of the following is an example of furocomarin? I don't remember that. Uh... Furocomarin means you have to look for the structure of furan ring. You know what is the furan ring, right? Pentacyclic ring with oxygen. Very easy answer. Very good. Most of you have answered well. Next is which of the following are considered as alkali hydrolysis product of papillin? Alkali means you will have how many product? Two product only. Benzoic acid and salicine, not saligenine. Okay. 
Next, which of the following compound can be used for the commercial preparation of vanillin? Which of the following represent furocalmarine? Bizarreline. So then, okay. Which of the following statement is false regarding the phytoconstituent chelene? It is anti-malarial activity. This is a false. Next one. What is the name of a glycon part of arbutin? What is the use of arbutin? Quickly. Diuretic, diuretic, right? No, diuretic. no, no. Okay. Antibacterial agent. Remember arbutin? Yes, arbutin? Yes, yes. Okay, when it go through the urinary tract, it is used for the treatment of urinary tract infection. When the metabolite of arbutin, right, that right. is arbutin glucuronide, it travels through the urinary tract, it takes away the bacteria. Okay, which of the following precursor is used for the synthesis of carmarine? Cinemic acid. Cinemic acid. Okay, okay, all of you. I, I will skip some question in between because we are mainly interested in terpene and terpenoid. I'm afraid of the time. Okay, because this Kahoot already we had it. Next one. Ah, okay, this one is good. Which of the following monoterpene is used as an active ingredient in insect repellent? Let me see who can answer this one. Mentoglycol, right? Okay. Next. <clears throat> I will skip this one. So we studied last class. Ah, okay, this one. Which of the following class of tarpin represent visible all? What is the correct answer? Monotropine. Is it monoterpene or monoterpenoid? Serpene. There's no oh, terpenoid. So it is an example of monoterpene. Monoterpene. I have given some extra time here, so I'm just skipping the question. The correct answer here is monoterpene. There's no oh, Yes. Yes, OH group. You can see it is with that OH group. So yes. All OH group. No, carpenoid. 
with the option it is not given this is a mistake with the option so example of one Yeah. Sorry, mono or sesquiterpenoid? It's not mono. It is sesquiterpenoid, right? Yeah, it's 15 carbon. Yeah, 15 carbon. Sesquiterpenoid, no mono. Sorry. Sesquiterpenoid. Next question. I will skip this question. We already know I discussed. Answer is Arbutin here. I'll just discuss. Uh, okay, this one also I will skip. We already played this. This also I'll skip. Okay, now this one. Which of the following class of carbon represent retinol? The correct answer is diterpene. Is it a diterpene or diterpenoid? Oid. Diterpenoid because you have an OH group. Okay. Next one. Which of the following represents a phenolic glycoside? I will also skip this one. On. Very good. Okay, I will skip this question because most of you did mistake on this question. Let's see how many correct answers this one. Carcinogenesis. Next one. Holds. Test. Which one has uh, sweet test? Hello. Valine. Vanilline. Okay. Vanilline. Not valine. Valine is amino acid. Vanilline. Yes, Last question. Which of the following is an example of non-competitive antagonist for GABA receptor? It's so easy. Is so toxin. toxin. Okay. What is the another example you studied today? That can jar jo Yes. To or to what was? What is another example you studied today? How many of you remember? Let me see. Terjo, 
I don't remember speeding. Today, you have studied in Terpenoid, one of the example. That also... Sir John. Hmm? Sir John. Yeah, yeah, again. To John, Sir, right? To John, yes, like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, to John. It is to John. It is an example of which class of terpene or terpenoid? Terpenoids. John? Monoterpenoid. Okay, ketone containing monoterpenoid. All right. So with this, we will finish our lecture here. Let's see if who is the winner. Jafar is in the list. Is the second and first one is first. Runner up, Maida. Okay. We will finish our lecture here. All right. So our quiz on Sunday or Tuesday? It's on Tuesday, correct? Hmm. Yes, on Tuesday. Yes. All right. I want to remind you all, make sure all of you have Gmail account. Can you inform everyone, everyone, maybe in the Google Classroom, or uh, Facebook group, all of you must have the Gmail account because I will conduct the quiz on Google form. At the end, you should not say I could not open the link. I don't have Gmail account and all these things. So I give this responsibility to Diana and Firas, my class representative. Make sure you inform everyone and everyone should have the Gmail account. OK. OK, doctor. Every person has a Gmail account to the quiz. I will post on the list. The list is the list. The list is the list. 